Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you a step by step process on how to remove and solder an SMD processor. Okay, so the first step is to remove the chip from the board. Hovering the hot air gun over the chip, make sure to move your hand. Not doing so will overheat and damage the chip. Make sure you move your hand and heating the sides of the chip. And it has taken me 2 minutes to pull the chip out of the board. As you guys can see, I'm fast forwarding this video so you guys can see the boring part of this video. So the chip is uh, about to be removed. And there you go. We have completed the first part of the process. Okay, so the next part will be cleaning the pads. Get the solder wick and apply some flux on it and position it over the pads. Now apply a little pressure and slide slowly. This part is a bit tricky because applying too much pressure will definitely ruin the pads. As you guys can see, I'm not using those high-end equipment, so you guys can do this with uh, any soldering iron. Just put the wick on the pads and slowly slide. That's it. Now we got one more left, right here, and I'm gonna do that same thing over here as well. Just apply a little pressure and just slide through. Okay, now I'm going to quickly uh, remove some extra solder from the pins of the chip by just sliding the iron through its sides. This will make the alignment process nice and easy. Okay, so let's uh, place the chip back to the board, making sure that the orientation of the chip is correct, which in this case is top right. Okay, so now it's time to align the chip, which is a bit difficult because as you guys have noticed, this chip has 256 pins on it. so lots of pins to take care of so take your time and be patient until you get it all right and looks like we are about to finish the alignment process anytime now okay so looks like that the alignment has been done and it's almost perfect so let's just slowly solder some pins to hold to hold its position And now I'm going to move the board to solder some pins to the other side as well. So now that the chip uh, is on its position, let's just quickly apply some flux on the sides. Flux is very important because uh, without ha applying flux, we can't have some great soldering. It also decreases the chances of getting solar bridges between the pins. But we still get that, but uh, that is very easy to deal with. Okay, so now we can go ahead and solder the chip. This is my favorite part, soldering things. Most of the people aren't going to agree with me, but uh, once you learn the tricks and techniques behind soldering, it's a treat, trust me. Just take some solder on the iron and slide back and forth, applying little pressure, but don't apply too much pressure because the last thing you want is to do the whole process all over again. Also guys, make sure you have a low speed fan running on your side because the smoke generated by this process is uh, very dangerous and the fan will take that smoke away from your nose. Back to soldering. Looks like we have a bridge here. So when you get a bridge like these, uh, just clean the iron and moving it over the bridge can transfer that extra solder to the iron. Just repeat this process until the bridge is gone. This technique is a bit hard rather than going one by one and soldering the pin. It's not going to do well on the first time, so you just have to work hard and uh, be patient. And as the time moves, you are going to get better. So as you guys can see, this is uh, not a working board. I'm just uh, using this board as a demonstration for the soldering. So I just uh, found it on my junk box. So I'm going to come back when the soldering is done.
Now that the soldering has been done, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife here and just slide it over the pins of the chip to check uh, for a loose connection. And I'm going to slide it over, slide it over the all sides. So uh, if any loose connection will pop up, I'm going to fix that. Looks like we don't have any loose connections. So the next step will be cleaning the board with the cleaner. That's about it guys. This is how the finished soldering looks like. So leave a comment below what you think about my soldering. And uh, if you have any question, comment me down and I will be get back to you. And if you enjoy watching this video, leaving a like will be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more videos like this one or Arduino tutorials or pick my control tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, stay safe and thanks for watching.